So get out there and blast. So get out there and blast. So get out there and blast. Get out there and blast. Hey blasters, Sean from Blue Dog Blasting. Today we're going to go over the water induction nozzle. It is contractor thread which is 50 millimeter or 2 inch coarse thread so make sure that you do have the right nozzle coupling to go along with it so that you can thread your nozzle into it. It also comes with its own water hose with little ball valve and what we did was hooked a 3 8 inch hose along with it going out to our garden hose just to make it a little bit flimsier not as bulky as garden hose and now we're going to show you how to use it. And get out there and blast! First off, we're going to do a dry run so we can create a little bit of dust and show you what it's like when you're just regular old dry blasting. That too can be done with the regular old wind nozzle. Now that you can see how dusty it is when you're just doing a regular dry blast, we're going to turn that ball cock just a little bit and introduce a little bit of water into our water induction nozzle. See what we can do. Alright blasters, well we showed you how the water induction nozzle can knock down some of the dust and make your blasting area a whole lot cleaner. How you can adjust with just the turn of a little valve and you don't need a whole heck of a lot but you can open it wide, have a whole lot of water, close it off, have just a little bit or have it off completely. Uh, when we were doing the dry blast we did have the water from the hose on, we just had the ball valve closed all the way. It's as easy as that, so get out there and blast. Is that what is that what we're doing? Yeah. Is that what we're doing? Come on, Kevin. 